I can't control no, no, you. No, no, don't dismiss me, Liza. You want to file a report, then you go ahead. I doubt your word will be enough. What makes you think I don't have evidence? Have you forgotten that I cleaned up after you? You weren't even there the night it happened. I loved you. I trusted you. I thought that what we had was special. I thought it would last forever. Stop it, Liza. Stop it. Lust does not last forever. In fact, death does, on the other hand. Run now. No, no, no. I want this off my shoulders. I want my wife to finally rest in peace. The number for Pine Valley Police Department, please. What do you think? Two lives ruined over a tragic accident? Oh, you want that? That's your story then, huh? You would be in the middle of this fallout. You would be on the cover of every tabloid. You would be implicated that you kept silent all this time. I'll take care of my own press, but thank you very much for caring. Oh, I see. You're just the master of the spin, aren't you? You think she'll buy it? Erica? Does she even know about your wife? I didn't think so. Oh, well, that's your next move, blackmail. You wouldn't think Erica would be interested? Now, Erica means nothing to me. You've been chasing her for months. She's exactly what you want. Beautiful, successful, with a delectable bank balance. She's a married woman. Well, now the double standard. You made love to me many an afternoon before you went home to charm the cold, hard cash out of your wife. Why do I need Erica's money when I have an old friend who is a well-paid station manager with a nasty skeleton in her closet? Well, if you weren't after Erica, why did you force me to air gossip on Dimitri and Gloria? I had an old score to settle with Ms. Marsh. You lavished attention on Erica at the media awards. I was her physician. I was attending to her in that capacity. Oh, no sales, Johnny. I know you too well. Oh, come on, Liza. Rumor has it that Erica and Dimitri are reconciling. Maybe Wallenberg's rather well off as well as Juanita Ramsey. Now, wait a minute. You can't laugh this off any more than you can threaten me. I can play just as dirty as you. But you can't win. Because I hold the ace. Because I can tell the world that you have committed cold-blooded murder. It wasn't murder. I didn't mean for it to happen. That's hardly an adequate defense. Fact, you and I were having an affair. Fact, my wife ends up dead and you're the last person to see her alive. It doesn't mean that I killed her. Oh, Liza, I have been protecting you and I am out of patience. What did you do with it? You did get rid of the body, didn't you? I mean, you did something with it. That's obstruction of justice. You're just as guilty as I am. Am I? Or did I get rid of her cleverly so that no one could ever connect me with her death? But you, on the other hand, won't be so fortunate. You'll find out when the police find her. Wait. Wait. Here. Take this. Well, very good. We do have an understanding. That's the end of it. No, no, you don't dictate the rules. This is merely a down payment for my keeping silent. You got what you came for. Now leave me for a moment. Doesn't anyone knock around here? We're finished with our business. Thank you. Nice to see you both. Excuse me. What's he doing here? Didn't you have the afternoon off? I did. Yeah, maybe we should go wait in your office. Wait for what? Adam called a meeting. I wasn't notified. It was last minute. He told us to meet him here. Since when is Dixie a part of our team? I'm just an interested bystander. So what's it all about? I thought you knew. I don't have a clue. <laughs> well, that Adam has a dramatic streak, doesn't he? Well, I'll take that as a compliment. What's going on? The final ratings are in. Clark is faxing them over as we speak. Wait a minute, you're going to decide who gets the station manager's job today? The hour of reckoning is at hand. Want a calculator? Patience. Why not wait for the national numbers, Adam? Because that would be delaying the inevitable. I'm quite proud of both of you. You both did a credible job. It was a dead heat. God, say, come on, Adam, who's, who's, who's on top? But it was neck and neck. Until Erica's interview. That made all the difference. Congratulations, Tad. You're the new station manager. <laughs> That's great. I'm so proud of you. It's 
a shame one of you had to lose. I'm not sure one of us did yet. Liza, I'm sorry it had to come to you. You wanted my job. You put Adam up to it. Well, it's the job I deserved in the first place. I've been in this business long enough to know how this game is played. The numbers don't lie. Tad won on his own merit. Just brace yourself for a daily dose of public service sermons, Adam. I think people are pretty bored with sensationalism. Not everybody has a perfect life, Dixie. Infidelity, adultery, broken homes, they're the norm. It's sad, but it's true. I think it's all how you present it. Lives fall apart. Hearts are broken. I say you deal with it. You don't turn away. There's a lot of positive stories out there. Oh, you should start calling those Boy Scouts then, the old ladies. I'm hopeful we can improve on these numbers. I'd wish you luck, but I don't think you'll need it. With your resume, they should be lining up to hire you. Am I going somewhere? I naturally assumed you'd want to leave. But your promotion clears the producer spot on the cutting edge. Uh, you're overqualified. Since one is being too good, a liability. You wanted a motion? You wanted my job, you got it. Turnabout is fair play. My contract states that I can stay at the station in any capacity at my current salary level or be paid until the end of the cycle. You're not serious. Pay me or play me. If I can compromise and take a lesser job, the ball's in your court, boss. Am I in? Or am I fired? It's out of the question. I believe that's up to me. And I think I'd like to talk to Liza alone. Oh, I have nothing to hide, unless there's something you don't want to say in front of your wife. Liza, this would be a really, really bad career move. So what unemployment? Come on, there's got to be a dozen stations out there that need, that are just dying for somebody with your credentials. I really like Pine Valley. I didn't realize how much I was going to miss the sights and the people. Do you want an answer now, this minute? Yes, I do. It's an easy question, yes or no. I am qualified. Do I get the job or am I fired? You're fired. The war is over, Liza. Ted won. Do yourself a favor and back out gracefully. Is that what you would do in my shoes? If you were losing a job that you loved unfairly? All fair. No. You would fight like a wild dog for anything that was important to you, and so will I. Liza, your programming skills have been re-evaluated. Re <laughs> The impartial oh, mathematical equation devised by the Nielsen Company is your nemesis, not Tad. The ratings have spoken. Shove your ratings. This unholy war that you started, Adam, was rigged. It was fixed. You and Tad started this with your bickering. I simply took control, put down some ground rules, and you fought and you lost. I fought against these rules from the beginning. These rules... You know, this isn't about the rules. This isn't even about the Nielsen. Why don't we confront the real issue? Which is, Tad, would you like to enlighten your wife or shall I? This is your swan song, not his. Uh, don't, don't beat her. Leave her alone, Liza. Well, you already know how she feels. Adam just says that when we'd upset his son's happy home and Tad just wants to take away the temptation. <laughs> Three kisses. Your ancient history. Obviously, your temptation that Tad has been able to resist. Dixie, why don't, why don't you and I let Tad and Liza thrash this out? We'll be in your office, Tad. Uh, Adam, make it quick. I, uh, Would you take it to be Why didn't you tell her? Liza, my marriage has survived a lot worse than a one-night affair. No matter what you have to say, you have nothing to gain. Still got the farm. What I have to gain is satisfaction.
Why don't you uh, knock before you barge in? Sorry. Television's a tough business, Liza. You live and die over the numbers. You're never any better than your last job. A letter of recommendation. Yeah, a glowing letter of recommendation. I suppose you want me to thank you. <laughs> well, I know you've had several substantial offers. When you decide on one, you let me know, I'll send this over, unsolicited. Now, of you. Well, I'm trying to uh, present a um, cooperative spirit. You fail miserably. Your attitude needs adjustment. You're a fool. You are nothing but a stuffed shirt with no qualifications, no experience, no imagination, no right to be involved in the entertainment industry, much less influencing programming. You are a clod. Careful, Liza. I bruise easily. Wouldn't know the difference between quality TV and trash TV. You changed the numbers to line your own nest. You didn't give Tad that job as station manager because he deserved it. You gave it to him to appease your ex-wife. I've changed no numbers, nor I ever made any decisions because of Dixie. Liar. I beg your pardon. <laughs> if Dixie knew that I slept with Tad, she would take your son away from Pine Valley. In which case. You wouldn't get to see him for that hour and a half every three weeks. Well, I offered you a recommendation. If you don't want it, that's your problem. You know, you're making the biggest mistake that a man in your position can make. You're underestimating me. I want you out by tonight, Liz. Desk clear, personal effects gone. I want this room empty by tomorrow morning. Goodbye. Why turn this into something that it's not? I mean, both you and Liza have told me that the entertainment industry is competitive, cutthroat, a revolving door. People race around from job to job. I mean, her getting fired isn't personal. Well, Liza doesn't see it that way. Well, yeah, of course not. She thinks that you're, you're tempted. Look, honey, I'm, I can't tell you how sorry I am no, that any no, of this please, ever happened. No, she's totally full of it. I mean, a kiss is just a kiss. <laughs> Too bad Liza never heard that song. Well, Liza's never heard a lot of things. It's too bad it doesn't stop her. You know, when she first came back to Pine Valley and took over as your boss, I mean, I was very jealous. I mean, I admitted I was jealous. I told her I was jealous. I was insecure. But I'm not now. And I think that really gets to her. I wish none of it ever happened. Not your fault. I mean, we didn't go looking for trouble. Trouble found us. Hopefully, Adam will calm her down and she'll go slithering into the dark where she belongs. But in the meantime, we have something to celebrate. Mr. Station Manager. Thank you. Yeah. You see, everything, everything turns out good in the end. That's all that matters, right? Right. Hmm. Vacation. Oh, yes. I mean, I'm not kidding. What do you say, like, uh, after all the dust settles, right? What about uh, the Bahamas? Just oh. a week, sun, fun, mm -hmm. sand, you and me. That sounds like heaven. Yeah, well, we earned it. <laughs> we have stuck it out through thick and thin. I love you, Dixie Cooney Martin. I love you, Thaddeus James Martin. Liza, I want you to go for it. Full steam ahead. Liza told me what I could do with my recommendation. Well, I'm not surprised. She's a fighter. The war's over. I told her to clear out her all of us be gone by the night. Good. I hope she was listening. 
Well, if not, I'll have her removed by security if necessary. I've had as much insolence and insubordination as I can take. Yeah. Adam Chandler, Thaddeus Martin. I'm Thaddeus Martin. Madam Chandler. Mr. Chandler? Mr. Martin? These subpoenas are for you. Have a nice day. I don't believe it. She's filed sexual harassment charges against me. Not just you. WRCW. Station 2. 